again. One thing I wanted to talk about is fuel tubing. That's what this is. I've cut two equal parts of fuel tubing because I want to lower down the front of this RC. Possibly the back, but right now I know definitely the front. I need a little rake to it to keep that front end down so that we don't catch air. So, I've got to take this shock, take the end off of it, and I use the dikes to grab it right at the thread so that I can unscrew this ball end. And then I'm going to take the piston out. Be very careful not to mess up those O-rings that are down there. I'm going to throw the fuel tubing in my piston. And then I'm going to put it back without damaging the O-ring. And that's going to shorten my shock length. See how much shorter I am? So, by doing that, I can get the front of the car down. Because I already put it to the highest position to lower that shock down, and it was still too high. So, with that said, that's the way I've been doing it. And then what I do with the dikes is I'll hold it tight and butt this right up against where my dikes are, which is the end of the thread. So I know, and I'll set the other one up exactly the same. Now let's throw some 80K in here and see what happens. Sucked all that fluid through those little holes. Sucked a bunch more. Now this one's going to, uh, require it to sit a little bit because you heard it you heard it suck in some air so I'm gonna let this one sit and level out see if I can get the most air out but just wanted to share that fuel tubing for gassers yes electric cars using gas parts um, and that's how I do it. I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. Camera died in the middle of it. So going ahead, getting my shocks, front shocks put on. So hopefully it's not as bad as it looks. on the outer the outermost hole so these front ones are set up I did lower them down be careful to hold this little sleeve in here because they will slide out I did hang the hardware back up in here because 
I didn't, uh, I'm not familiar with this RC, so whenever I'm not familiar with something and I'm ripping the whole thing apart, I try to put the hardware where I know it'll go back. So I want these tabs out and I'm slipping and sliding. Let me get this uh, other screw out of here. I am going to put them to the lowest point because I should be able to raise it, just not lower it. But I think the lowest point will get my arms is level. Look at that. That's a thread that's being pulled from, uh, from the RC. Yeah, didn't even stop, didn't even try to stop, but we're in. Now I know you got to be careful with these because they do have a bolt that screws through this uh, upper control arm. So just be careful you don't crank anything down too tight is what I'm noticing on this uh, RC trying to be like professional so I get you guys in the shots without my hand blocking everything like I'm doing now Tony and RC guy garage are very Tony at CCX RC and RC guy garage very good at uh, getting good camera angles me I just wrench fix things get as much as I can so you guys can see it So I have moved these to the outer holes on both sides. What I'm trying to do is get this stance right here as flat and as low as possible. So that's pretty, it's funny because these control arms shape up, I think to give you a low ground clearance. But honestly, if you wanted to raise it, I wonder if you could flip it to the other side. I don't know. I'm going to hang these rear shocks off of here now. Since the rear shocks are done. Sorry, my hand is probably in the way again. These rear shocks are, they're feeling really, really good. Got some tension to them. Face those out. Feels pretty good. Look at that, tightening that down. I've got, I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit so that shock travels freer. There we go. So definitely don't uh, crank these bolts down. Are these nuts don't want it sticking like that there we go see that sticking there we go so I'm gonna crack these front ones a little looser definitely don't want them binding uh, the front don't even matter. They don't even rotate. Yeah, just straight up and down. But definitely don't want things. You want a little movement and you want them to, to be free. You don't want it sticking. Might need a little less on this one. There we go, shocks are all rebuilt. Now I'm gonna start working on this rear end. Let me get you guys repositioned. Get your face down. 
So I am going to start working on this. Where? Here they are. Now this limited slip, when I turn it one left and one right, it's very soft. When I turn this one left and right, it's very, very hard. So I'm going to get the transmission swapped out now because I think this trans is better and I'm hoping that it works. Because This one's really, really soft in there. All right, welcome back. Working on getting this transmission switched out. See, this trans is definitely smoother than the one I just picked up. But the one I picked up, the diff, is really, really stiff compared to this one. I don't know if it's because I ran it or what. This one feels tighter and then I'm going to take this one out and open it up. So, let's get this motor out of here. One, one more wire spacing. Okay, facing towards the back. I do notice oil in here as well. two screws here. It looks like there's one hanging on the back that is behind that motor plate. So I gotta remove the motor plate. I'm trying to get these things in the shot. screw's not even in there so I don't well that's just popped in between there I see I already removed that screw so one more let me get these lined up so that opening is going to face towards that opening I'm just talking to myself, guys. I guess I could be talking to you. But I haven't really done this before. So. Like that. Yeah, 
so that pops in there this way. And then these two things go inside these. One inside there, one inside there. So that literally so holds there. the whole transmission in. So this is going to slip. I'm going to get you guys closer. So the axles are going to slip right back in. Is that the right screw? Oh. And these things, yes, are going to screw up in here. Right there for a second. So it's not time for that. So now I should be able to put the whole transmission on with the arms flopping around. Perfect. Now I'm going to slide the motor and stuff on after I get this mounted. Perfect. Oh, that feel that feels good. So much better. All right, guys. I'm going to flip this over. Tighten up the two screws that I left loose. And then it's these four screws that are left. All right, hopefully, you guys can see this. So, I'm going to take these. There we go. We are back in business, back in business. So I'm gonna get the wheels on. We got the trans taken out. We got all the shocks rebuilt and put back on. So I'm gonna get this thing back on the ground and see how it feels.